It's been two weeks since I got my NVIDIA Jetson Nano developer board. And uh, yeah, I'm still, it's good. Um, I am genuinely, genuinely, genuinely happy with it. It's got a couple of issues that um, I will hope that we're hopefully going to be seeing resolved soon. Um, the LEDs don't work on the network socket uh, when you are, I mean the network socket works fine, but um, no tra transfer or receive LEDs at the moment. Um, and then the other thing is um, you can't boot off. So I, I was hoping for this second video that I'll be booting off the uh, USB 3 disc, but that doesn't work at the moment. But they say that by uh, June, with the next update of the Jetpack, which is the uh, OS for the Nano board, uh, for the for the Jetson boards, uh, by June it should be fixed, and then we should be able to boot off the USB 3 port. So um, that will be good. Um, no other problems really, apart from that. Well, it's uh, yes. So in the last video, I was booting off the micro USB port. And you'll notice now that this is running off the uh, barrel power adapter socket. And to do that, you've got to put a jumper on. It's jumper 48, I believe. It's a jumper nearest to the uh, power socket there. So um, that's uh, yeah, that's that's been working fine. And uh, yeah, so I said, oh yes, <laughs> I actually did jump the gun a bit. I'm buying this it turns out so um, there's going to be an updated carrier board a, a motherboard for the uh, Jetson Nano one that's got a proper uh, four speed M2 PCIe slot that you could easily stick a SSD into an M2 SSD without having to use an adapter on this we'd have to use an adapter they're about $20 but it's a uh, I don't. I've not heard anyone trying this yet, so we don't actually. We don't actually know if it works. So, but if you've not already bought a uh, Jetson Nano, you may be better to hold on and wait for the new model if you are, if you're concerned about I/O and you want a faster disc, which is obviously nice. It'll make it uh, perform a lot better. So you may want to wait for the new revision. Um, and yes, and then the other thing that I would like to see, I mentioned in a previous video, it'd be nice if it had a headphone socket. Well, it'd also be nice if it had a hardware reset switch. You can wire one onto it, but obviously that's hassle, and <laughs> I've not got around to doing that yet. But it would be nice to have a uh, like a hardware reset switch on the board, so you don't have to wire one on yourself. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to show Doom 3 BFG, which uh, although it's, um, I won't say it's everyone's favourite Doom game, uh, but it's, um, it's probably one of the best open source games that you can run on a board like this, so yeah, it kind of pushes it really. You're not going to get much more out of this kind of hardware, um, and there's not that many open source games that are up to that sort of standard really. So and also Hurricane which is a open source remake of Turrican which I've got right on here and I will include instructions. Oh yes and also there was a bit of a snag with getting um, the uh, Doom 3 to run which is it's called BG Doom 3 BFG no it's RB Doom 3 BFG um, he uses SDL2, and to get SDL2 to work, it was a error with DBus. Uh, so I, I had to build my own SDL. Uh, it's easy enough to do, and I'll include instructions in this video. So if you have got a Jetson Nano, and you want to uh, play Doom 3 on it, or anything else that uses SDL2, then yes, you'll have to rebuild your own SDL2.
The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38,000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. directly to reception. I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Oh, 
On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, archaeological study, and military operations. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this Attention. goal, we ask you Director to follow Banks, all UAC Please report to Central Administration. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect place to... Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. 